the Sasquatch of the Pacific Northwest, the Yeti of Nepal, the Skunk Ape of the South, and the Yowie of Australia. No matter where you're from or what you may call it, Bigfoot is one of the most well-known legendary creatures in the cryptozoology world. In this, our first episode of the cryptozoology series, we explore the myth behind Bigfoot, from the beginning of where this legend started to the modern day expeditions to prove his existence. Before we begin, we must identify the creature. Bigfoot is said to be between 8 and 12 feet tall. The creature is said to look like an ape with a large forehead and brow. Depending on the location, Bigfoot is described as anything from dark black to snow white. The most common colour being brown red hair. The most prominent feature is the foot, with most descriptions stating that the foot size being around 2 feet in length with various sizes and width. The origin of Bigfoot differs from country to country. We will begin our exploration in the Pacific Northwest of America. This is where nearly 30% of all sightings occur. Long before America was settled in 1607, Native Americans roamed to the countryside sharing stories of a wild man. This wild man was rumoured to be a tall, hairy cannibal creature who lived on the highest peaks of modern day Washington and Oregon. When colonists arrived and started spreading west in search of manifest destiny, the natives would tell stories of this creature in hope of turning them around and not settling in the area. In the 1920s, a teacher by the name of J.W. Burns, who researched this wild man, wrote a series in a local Canadian newspaper about the legends of the creature. He would eventually coin the term Sasquatch, coming from the Halkamalem word Sasquets, meaning wild man. The book Cryptozoology A to Z, written by Lauren Coleman and Jerome Clark, states that the legend began to escalate in 1958 when a construction worker in Northern California named Jerry Crew found a set of footprints in a site he was working. He plastered the prints and took them to the Humboldt Times, his local newspaper. Soon after, the newspaper wrote a story and the legend has spread nationwide. Though convincing, this was soon proven to be a hoax after the construction site leader, Ray Wallace, passed away. His family came out and stated that the prints were faked and believed that the editor of the Humboldt Times was involved as well. And in 1967, one of the most iconic sightings occurred in a short video called the Patterson Gimlin Film. The video lasts only for about 60 seconds and shows a strange 6-7 foot creature walking through a nearby bush. Many believers state that the video could not be faked due to the inhuman walking style of the creature. One of the original filmers, Roger Patterson, states that he took the footage to the special effects department at Universal Studios. The company stated it would be almost impossible to fake the film. It would require a whole new system of artificial muscle. Skeptics believe that the film is faked due to how often Roger Patterson changed his story of the events that took place that day. To this day, the film has been proven neither real, nor a hoax. The Patterson-Gimlin film made headlines nationwide. More and more people began to tell their stories and encounters with the mythical beast, from stories of hikers gone missing to animals being gutted and torn. People began to blame Bigfoot for these strange occurrences. Eventually, with Bigfoot becoming the largest name in the cryptozoology world, the media began to take notice. During the 1970s, Bigfoot's name was used in everything from movies, television, commercials and products, with the everyday American knowing this creature. Huge amounts of sightings began to take place, many of which were hoaxes, people wanting to be in the spotlight. Though the amount of sightings have dropped significantly after the year 2000, Every now and then, a new video, a new picture, a new story will show up on social media. There are still a lot of people who believe that this creature could exist, and a lot of people who believe it couldn't. Study groups and researchers are out every day trying to find the one piece of evidence that we need, whether that is a single strand of hair or a large footprint. Every day, we get closer to the truth. Join us in our next episode as we explore the modern day research being performed to prove the existence of Bigfoot. 
We also find out if a creature like this could actually exist, and if so, how and where. If you'd like to see more, be sure to like and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. I'm not actually the guy who made this video, I'm just a voice. Hello! I do, however, make my own videos if you want to hear my voice more. Subscribe to that if you want, it's called Morrison Productions, or, or don't, it's all up to you.